the Earth is a mysterious place, with much of its secrets still unknown to us. From the depths of the oceans to the tops of the mountains, there are wonders yet to be explored. Even the parts of the planet that we have already explored contain mysteries that we have yet to unravel. And that's just the natural world. When we consider the ancient man-made sites that have puzzled archaeologists for centuries, we realize that there is much more to discover. Despite the efforts of leading scientists and experts, we still don't know why these sites were created, how they were built, or what they were used for. Some of these mysteries are thousands of years old, and it's possible that we may never know the truth behind their existence. Did ancient humans possess technologies that are beyond our imagination? Did they build things that we can't even conceive of today? Or perhaps, like many others, you wonder if these sites were created by extraterrestrial beings. Number 10. The Stone Spheres, Costa Rica. The UNESCO official name for Costa Rica's Stonehenge is the pre-Columbian chiefdom settlements with stone spheres of the Diquis, but it's commonly referred to as stone spheres or las bolas by locals. The stone spheres are located in the Diquis Delta region of the Costa Rican rainforest and consist of four different sites. These sites contain large, perfectly round stone orbs that date back to a civilization that lived in the region between 500 BC and AD 1500. Archaeologists have uncovered about 300 of these stone spheres, which are all virtually perfect spheres and made from hard stone. The mystery surrounding the stone spheres lies in their purpose and the fact that they are all different sizes, ranging from a few dozen small ones that can fit in the palm of your hand to a few dozen larger ones that weigh up to 15 tons. Despite years of research, scientists and historians still don't know why the spheres were made or what they were used for. The placement of the spheres appears random and doesn't correspond with any celestial bodies. Additionally, the fact that the spheres were created over a period of nearly 2,000 years is confusing to experts. The mystery of the stone spheres continues to intrigue archaeologists, who are committed to protecting the site for future research. Number 9. The Miami Circle, Florida. Many of the unsolved ancient mysteries involve stones, and that's because stone is durable and can withstand the tests of time. The Stone Circle of Miami, Florida, is one such site. In 1998, developers discovered a circle of 24 large holes filled with heavy limestone tablets while digging for a new condo complex. Archaeologists were called in to uncover more, and they found an entire setup. The stones were placed in a perfect circle with a 38-foot diameter, and the area was covered in long buried artifacts like animal bones, shark teeth, and primitive axe heads made from basalt rocks. The Miami Circle is estimated to be roughly 2,000 years old, and archaeologists believe it was created by a group of people known as the Tequesta. The Tequesta were a mysterious tribe that survived as late as the early 18th century, and not much is known about their existence. They were described as bloodthirsty, hostile, and nomadic by Spanish explorers who encountered them in the 1500s. The Miami Circle still sits in the middle of the city today, and researchers are still studying artifacts from the site in the hopes of uncovering more about the Tequesta and their purpose for creating the circle. Number 8. The Strange Stone Statues, Indonesia. Indonesia's Sulawesi Island is home to a series of stone heads that have puzzled archaeologists for decades. Unlike the stone spheres in Costa Rica, these stones include shapes of human figures and are of different sizes, with some being just a few inches tall and others more than 15 feet high. Some of the stones are long and rectangular, leading archaeologists to wonder if they were used as coffins. The mystery surrounding the Sulawesi stones lies in how they got there and why they were made. There are about 400 stone creations on Sulawesi, but archaeologists haven't found any other signs of civilization around them. Unlike the Costa Rican case, there are no signs of ancient roads or foundational blocks for buildings. Scientists have yet to find tools, burial grounds, or anything else that would indicate a civilization once settled there. The structures are made of stone, so carbon dating is impossible, and it's difficult to determine when they were made. Local Indonesians have passed down stories suggesting that the stones were placed there thousands of years ago by an ancient, long-lost tribe. Some say the stones are the spirits of dead criminals from that era who have been cursed to remain on Earth for eternity. However, these are just speculations, and archaeologists are no closer to understanding the Sulawesi stones' purpose than when they first found them decades ago. Number 7. The Sword in the Stone, Italy. The Italian mystery of the sword in the stone is a real and mystifying phenomenon. According to historians, Galgano Gu Dotti was a 12th century nobleman who, along with his counterparts, engaged in maiming, killing, pillaging, and plundering. However, he became tired of bloodshed and had a vision of the Archangel Michael, who told him to find God. Gu Dotti traveled to Montesiepi, where he had another vision that instructed him to drive his sword into a large stone. 
the act would not only rob him of his weapon but also prove the power of believing in the Lord. Gu Dadi did as he was told, and the sword slid right in, where it has remained ever since. Locals built a sacred chapel around the site, and modern archaeologists have confirmed that the sword is a real, true sword from the 12th century buried deep inside the stone. However, archaeologists and historians have no clue how the sword got there, leaving us all amazed and confused eight centuries later. Number 6. The Viking Penny, Maine. In 1957, an amateur archaeologist found a small coin at what was believed to be an ancient Native American site in Naskeeg Point, Maine. The coin was originally thought to be a sacred Indian artifact, but experts later identified it as an 11th century Norwegian coin. The discovery of the coin challenged what was previously known about the New World and became one of the earliest examples of currency found in the Americas. The coin was dated back to a period between 1065 and 1080, which coincided with the time the Native American site was thought to have been in use. However, the issue of how the coin got to North America and how long Norse travelers were there remains a mystery. The main penny is the only 11th century Norse coin ever found in America, leading some to question its authenticity. However, a small mark on the coin suggests that it was likely used as a pendant and given as a one-off gift by Norse visitors to Native Americans. Despite this theory, archaeologists and historians still cannot confirm the true story behind the main penny. Number 5. Big Stone Circles, Jordan and Syria. The ancient mystery of Jordan and Syria centers on a series of stone circles scattered across the desert plain. Aerial images have shown these circles for decades, with the rocks making them up not as smoothly cut as some others on this list. However, they are laid out in massive circles across the flat land, with the smallest measuring 720 feet in diameter and the largest running more than 1,450 feet across. They are all set to be between 3 and 5 feet in height, and there are no openings for an entrance anywhere on any of them. Archaeologists believe they date back sometime between 4500 BC and 2000 BC, but with a 2,500-year time frame, it's difficult to determine what might have been there long ago. The stone circles are laid out in virtually perfect circles, and researchers think there were more stone circles built around the region, but some were destroyed as more recent towns and settlements cropped up. These dozen archaeological sites are now protected from further destruction, and scientists continue to study them but remain baffled at what might have been there long ago. Number 4. The Newton Stone, Scotland. Europe is home to many standing stones, with England's Stonehenge being the most famous. However, other countries also boast ancient monuments and mysterious artifacts, such as Scotland's Newton Stone. The stone is carved into a serpent-like pattern with flowers and circles, but the meaning of these images is unknown to archaeologists. On the back of the stone, there are six lines of indecipherable text, with some historians believing it dates back to an ancient language called Oam. However, there are a few other lines written in a mysterious text that linguists cannot identify. Some scholars believe it is a rough, ancient version of Latin left over from when the Romans occupied the area, while others claim it's a bastardized form of ancient Greek. Another group of linguists wonders if there's a Slavic background to the text, and some experts contend that it's Pictish, an ancient language spoken by peoples who lived in Scotland and Northern England. Despite these theories, the Newton Stone's purpose remains unclear, and the message on its backside is a mystery. It's unknown if it's a religious shrine, a message about weather patterns or natural phenomena, or a warning of a terrible future ahead. The mystery of the site makes it both creepy and fascinating. Number 3. The Plain of Jars, Laos. Similar to many other places on Earth, Laos is a country that exudes an air of mystery. The capital city, Vientiane, is a fascinating and unique urban center that is often overlooked by tourists. However, far from the city's hustle and bustle lies an ancient site that is shrouded in uncertainty, the famous Plain of Jars. Located approximately 100 miles, 161 kilometers, north of Vientiane, the Plain of Jars is a vast open wilderness plain that spans hundreds of square miles. It is home to thousands of stone jars that are scattered about in a seemingly random order. The jars come in various sizes and shapes, with some sitting alone on the ground while others are grouped together. The largest jars weigh over a ton and stand up to 9 feet, 2.8 meters, tall. Some jars have stone lids, while others do not. Many of them are intricately decorated, but others are not. Despite the many theories that have been proposed, the true purpose of the jars remains a mystery. Some historians believe that the jars were used as urns for sacred burials, with bodies placed inside to decompose. Others suggest that the jars were used for fermenting and brewing ancient rice wine. However, the purpose of the smallest jars remains unexplained. 
Regardless of their true purpose, the Plain of Jars is a fascinating and enigmatic site that continues to intrigue researchers and visitors alike. Number 2. Judicola Rock, North Carolina. The Cherokee people, who once inhabited the mountains of western North Carolina, had a legend about an ancient giant named Judicola. According to the tale, he could easily jump from one mountain to another and traverse the rugged terrain with ease. When he needed to steady himself mid-jump, he would place his massive hands on boulders. One of these boulders is said to bear the imprints of his seven fingers, and it is now known as Judicola Rock among the Cherokee locals. They believe that the giant's fingers left an indelible mark on the stone. However, the eternal aspect of the fingerprints may not be entirely accurate. Old photographs of the rock from the 1930s show the supposed seven fingers in much more noticeable contrast than they are today. In recent decades, the weather has taken a significant toll on the massive boulder, and the soapstone carved fingers, along with other Cherokee carvings, are slowly being eroded away by time and the elements. Archaeologists estimate that the rock dates back as far as 3,000 years, but little else is known about its origins. Interestingly, locals claim that there are at least two other stones in the area that bear Judicola's hand and fingerprints, but these have never been found. As a result, scientists are left to wonder whether their existence is merely a myth. Number 1. The Skulls of Mutala, Sweden. If the enigma of stone-related conundrums has left you weary, we're delighted you've persevered until this intriguing finale. In Sweden, it's not stones that have archaeologists scratching their heads, but rather fragments of skulls. Near the city of Mutala, on the shores of a lake, researchers have been diligently examining Stone Age arrangements of human skulls and other bone fragments. At the site, a minimum of 11 distinct skulls have been unearthed. Eerily, these remains belong to adult men and women, as well as children and infants. Consequently, archaeologists have pondered whether ritual sacrifices or profound religious significance might be connected to these skulls. Through dating the bones, scientists have determined that they are approximately 8,000 years old. Intermingled with ancient animal bones, this discovery lends further credence to the religious hypothesis. However, the skull's age renders it impossible to definitively ascertain their purpose or usage. At least two of the skulls were impaled by wooden stakes, and one skull even housed shattered skull fragments from an entirely separate ancient human. Feeling a shiver down your spine yet? In 2018, Swedish researchers revealed that nearly all the skulls, adults and children alike, exhibited healing injuries. As one researcher informed Swedish media, the majority of the skulls have traces of healing injuries in the same area on the head. It appears to be repetitive, and there are differences between the men's and the women's injuries. But what is the purpose of these injuries? And why were the skulls mounted on stakes in such an odd fashion? This 8,000-year-old enigma will likely persist, perhaps for another 8 millennia or beyond. Thanks for watching.